One more queen piece, follow us on all social media platforms. That's TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and our YouTube channel. Like and subscribe and follow us, queen piece, on all platforms. In the comments, I'm, I'm feeling this chair. I'm swinging my legs <laughs> like a little child. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all like, y'all comment, y'all share, y'all tag some people. Come on up in the room if you get here. Please drop something in the comments. I know it's been a while, y'all. It's been a while. And we back on a good old Sunday. We doing something different. We normally do Fridays. But, look, we got something special for y'all today. See, you good on this? I am. I'm just you get it together. Now, she done put me on the spot and she ain't even, even ready. But, so, I know y'all see a face that may be for me. It may not be for me. But, we got somebody to the left of us, to the right of her. We got a little extra little co-host with us today. We're going to go ahead and let him introduce himself. We can say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, with the body, y'all can see y'all. Look, the, the colors up in here is giving what it needs to give. It's nice up in here, y'all. For you all that do not know, we are in Oops All Big. And I know y'all have heard of it. Y'all know what time it is. So. Well, hello, my dear. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Marcus, 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 Marcus is the name. So, okay. you know, welcome people, welcome people on this beautiful Sunday, beautiful Sunday. All my friends, family, everybody tune in, share this live, share this live. <laughs> Queen Peace. Yes, we in this thing. I got it. Now tell them where, where we located at. We just did a grand opening. Like, come on, give us the, the located, speed. We uh, located 4409 North okay. State Street. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. 206. You know, also, uh, uh, location in Alcorn, you know, we about to do a really grand opening for that thing, ribbon cutting, just, you know, beautiful, beautiful thing going on down there as well, but 4409 North State Street, North Fundren, you know, that's where we at, Sweet 8, pull up, you know what I'm saying, it's nothing but vibes and good food here. Yeah, it's real. Y'all never had to feel it. Look, I haven't had anything, I gotta come back and try it, but I'm the telling y'all. <laughs> Y'all heard he said. He said the best one in the state, man, y'all. got money. Oh. <laughs> to anybody, you can bring your beef no. in it. The rest of the angels or whatever. It's a challenge. Just say that. I'm not the way that it is. It's a challenge. Oh, but yes. When was the grand opening? The grand opening was February the 4th. It was huge. Really? It was huge. Yeah, yeah, it was a yeah. thing away. Yeah. I came on my list break. I had to leave. You couldn't get up in here. I, I, I can believe it. I can believe it. I can believe it. it was real. Everybody trying to get on in here and get with the vibe and everything. So, y'all, of course, we have a topic. But since we are at Oops All Vegan, I want to personally ask what started your vegan journey, becoming an entrepreneur? Like, what made you step out and just. Well, to even start the vegan lifestyle, I was just aware about my body because I only have one of them. So I was more concerned about getting any kind of illness or, you know, black man, we eat too much red meat, we'll get gout and I ain't got time for one of them to swell up and, you know, you know no, that, ain't, that ain't a good feeling. So I've been vegan for 15 years now. So um, just to provide the options in the city mean a lot because I know where it came from and I... It was slim on the choices where I can go get something from. Mm -hmm. Not no fully vegan restaurant, but more of a um, vegan option, or I can turn some into vegan, just hold out a couple different ingredients. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, so I just had to give the people something else to, you know what I'm saying, to experience and get people to walk into this vegan life because it's not easy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's all about steps. Um, some people have the discipline to go cold turkey and mm -hmm. just go straight forward, but you know, some people you gotta walk yourself in there. And I'm the I'm the guy to come see. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna help you get to that step. I'm gonna help you get where uh, you don't need what you thought you need, what you craving, all mm -hmm. the sugars and the red meats. So you know, that's that's where it came from. I just provided that and kept working. You know. Okay. What's cold turkey for you? Oh, you had yeah. I, 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 I took steps. I used to, uh, I used to get 
you know, licks on me. I had homeboys, you know, that used to throw stuff out the back door of Golden Corral and Long Corral. You know, every, everything came to the house was wrapped in bacon. You know what I'm saying? We had asparagus wrapped in bacon and steak and chicken wrapped in bacon. So I, I used to consume so much of it. So it was it was hard for me to get off of it, but when I got it in my mind and, you know, got it in my mind and I was like, this shit is fucking disgusting. <laughs> and when I stuck to it after that, you know what I'm saying? Every time I wanted to pick up something, I'm like, it's disgusting. So in my mind, my mind rejected. Wrong with your mind rejected, your body gonna accept it. You know what I'm saying? And like you say, what you all, uh, a key word, discipline. Cause yes, that's what I was yes, thinking yes, about yes, on, yes. which yes. that discipline, it, it you just have to have that period in yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure switching over from the things that we just love and like I said, we think that we want and we crave and all that. I know that takes a lot of discipline to be like, okay, no, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. It's levels of discipline, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You discipline yourself from not spending that bill money and gone paying that bill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so it's that level of discipline where we want to put that full effort behind us. You know what I'm saying? We just get caught up in the food and what we thought was really good. And, you know, everybody think what we eat, vegans, are just great grass and just boring food. Mm -hmm. But, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Once you get down into it and open your taste buds up to any vegan chef or yourself or anybody that cooking vegan food, just, you know, it, it may be all right. Because it's all about flavor. It's all about yeah, flavor. Yeah, I think that's what it is with a lot of people. Yeah, it's like, yeah, because yeah, I guess as you tra you transition, so yeah. are you trying to make the food as close to meat and all of that, or is it more so if we just gonna switch it up all to? Yeah, you know, one of my one of my my main sellers, the Philly cheese steak, which we were just talking about. I use the Beyond Burger. The Beyond Burger is just a lot cleaner burger than your any your Impossible Meat or a couple more uh, vegan burgers that's online. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's soy free and it have no GMO, nothing general modified organism in it. So um, it, it give you that, they got beets in it to give you that red look of red meat, red you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it kind of give you that same texture. So once you once you get it in your mind, like, <laughs> like oh, this might be this, meat, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now your mind wanna accept it, yeah. now you yeah. good, you okay. wanna try it now. So it's all about looks, and then once the food, it, if it look like some shit, they, they gonna go for it. Yep. So I haven't been having any trouble, you know, once they give me that first try to open up them taste buds to me, yeah. they never go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so was it a shell shock for you? I know you said it was like levels, was it baby steps, or was it like, okay, I think I can do this, and it was like, yeah. look, I'm gonna do it. See, it wasn't that hard, cause I never, I never liked the seafood. Never did seafood, yeah, so I would course. really, I would really just stuck on the meat. You know what I'm saying? Red meat and chicken. You know. Gotcha. Yeah. Once I cut out on the red meat, start eating turkey, and then, then looking at the bird and seeing how it's been processed and all yeah. that. So I got all the way away from it. Uh, now the hardest thing I had to get away from it, and it took a little time was candy, yeah. like gummies and stuff like yeah, that. Because yeah. I, man. That's sweet. Lifesaver. Yeah. That was a lifesaver. Literally. <laughs> lifesaver was a lifesaver. So, so yeah, it took it, you know, I you know, I hopscotch through that thing. Yeah, but you said so, fifteen years, right? Fifteen years. And for the yeah. people that's just tuning in, that is a long time. We yeah. are at oops all the yeah, end, y'all. And and, and let me that's that's bad oops. Explain to people what like the vegan lifestyle of eating is because a lot of people think like you said you just, just, you, you just, just eat grass, you know, yeah. this, 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 like just bring it down yeah. like similar see, terms. See, but, see what vegans do, what because most of your vegans they they pretty much used to eat meat and cut it out so they used to seeing a pork chop or a chicken patty or a chicken drumstick and anything like that. So we use different items to make to make it see, to make it look like a substitute or that pork chop and rice and gravy which we used to eat. I may slice up a cauliflower, batter it, put good seasoning on it and good 
fried in some good oil, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And now I got this nice piece of cauliflower <laughs> with this bread and coated on it with the gravy, with the rice. Oh, and now I got flavor, so you know, now I get what I need. You know, you know what you so, mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then you make it a little easier. True, yeah, yeah. 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 So once 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 you experience that and open up your like the vegetables, everybody eat vegetables. If you not if you don't eat vegetables, what's wrong? Right. What's wrong? Like, what are you doing out there? You can get your life together. You yeah, not eat yeah, vegetables. Yeah, not eating vegetables. You gotta get to it. So it's it's just holding out some of the dairy products. Like we don't vegans don't do no dairy, anything that's dealing with an animal we don't want it from. We don't even gotcha. do honey. You know what I'm saying? You get that okay. seared. But you got vegetarians, they may do honey, they may still do eggs, and may still do a little milk. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? That's your vegetarian. And you got pescatarian that don't do no meat but still open up to the seafood. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. See, it's, it's different. Like, it's level. It's level. Mm -hmm. Because I never even thought about it, you know, like that deep, like how you just. Did I hear somebody say, oops? That's right. Oops, all vegan. Your friendly neighborhood vegan restaurant located at 4409 North State Street, Jackson, Mississippi. Sweet A. You will not be disappointed. Again, oops. Like the different no and, and, the, and then you got the, your plant-based raw vegans that don't don't want nothing but now that's that's what people are afraid of and they say they eat nothing but grass. But it's not just grass, they just don't kill all the beneficials out their food when they cook it. Because sometimes when you cook your food and you, you heat it at a certain temperature, you you you're killing some of the beneficials that the, um, it actually have in, in, that, in that herb, in that green, or them peas. So, um, so when, you, when, you, when you got raw vegan, they just go straight forward and, you know. What's an example water. of a raw vegan, like, dish? A raw vegan dish, you may have um, some kale greens tossed up in a little lemon, a lemon juice with a, a little salt and pepper. Uh, have cucumbers, fresh tomatoes, you know, a right. couple of fruits on the side, but nothing is heated up. Gotcha. Nothing is warm. Oh, oh, nothing, yeah, okay, nothing, yeah, so we raw. 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 Everything is raw. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tim said, that's where I'm at, no meat. No meat? No really? Tim, how long have you been doing with no meat? <laughs> really, Tim? <laughs> uh, and you know uh, I feel like that, because we're going to get into the topic, the topic, you know, <laughs> Discipline. I feel like when it comes down to me yeah. and women, but we got a man on the show to talk about me. <laughs> Discipline is a good thing for a man to have. Yeah. I feel like a lot of women look for a man with discipline. That's just my opinion because yeah. I feel like the man has no discipline, he just gonna be out. He just, he, he just, you know what I'm saying? He lies. He he, he yeah, outside. Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Because it takes a lot to discipline yourself. Like we discipline our kids or you know whoever we are over, but it takes a lot to discipline yourself as an adult. Like I know I'm grown, like do whatever, but to flat out tell yourself, no, I'm not doing this. Like you just said, we'll be like, no, I ain't gonna fuck out my money. I'm gonna pay my bills. Right. That shit is hard sometimes. Yeah, it's hard. You know what I'm saying? So imagine yeah, having to flip your whole life yeah. lifestyle because I feel like being a vegan or whatever switch, it's a lifestyle change yeah, all together. Yeah, Especially okay. when it comes down to your food and that's what, what nourishes the body and keeps you going. That's a full like 360 from going like just saying, oh, I ain't going to drink Coke, you know, for a while or I ain't going to buy this or I ain't going to buy that. Like when you switch it up like that, I know that takes a lot of discipline. A lot. And I know that got to be hard. And like, not only that, like, your environment around you, like, them respecting your choice to go against the ground. Yeah, but how did they go? See, now, I get a bunch of that. Now, some people may feel intimidated because I'm vegan. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They may feel like I'm kind of bougie because I don't do <laughs> certain stuff. Come on, man. You know what they may say, uh, but it's just, you know, I don't, I don't judge anyone. I just try to push for the healthier living. Because mm -hmm. what the reason for we busting our ass out here and trying to make all this money, we, we ain't going to be able to. Exactly. 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 Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be, I'm, I'm not going to let that be the reason why I get out of here with my body and my shape. Right. You know what I'm saying? 
So, uh, yeah, I, I, I get a lot of, you know, nose browned up and all this, no. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't nobody think you better than anybody, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 they don't know how they feel about their own teeth, I don't know. I just, I keep it going. I don't try to, I don't try to preach it to yeah. everybody. It's just my choice of way of living, and, you know, once they wake up to it and, you know, mm-hmm. see it, you know, you ain't got to stop eating it, you know, just lack up off of it. Right. I mean, you've been, been consuming it over so many years, however old you are. So just just, just give it a break from now and then. Because mm-hmm. right now the meat and all that being mass produced, like, y'all eat so much chicken, like, they can, it's not enough chicken to be yeah. laid, <laughs> I just went to Walmart the other day, they had a two-pack limit. You couldn't get more than two packs.
masculine. Masculine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's that, but at the same time, it's knowing how to like shed that from there a little bit and letting uh, another side, like a caring side, come on, yeah. emotions come on. You know what I'm saying? But you don't have to wear, knowing how to switch out that hat at the time. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's and as being a man, it's hard to wear them feelings and show them feelings because we feel like someone gonna take advantage of them and and and, and use them against us. And yeah. we don't want to. We don't want to look like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, Damn. I just told this motherfucker this, 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 this. Yeah. That's why you cry all day. And then feel it. No, no, we can't have that. Yeah. And, and and that we can't have in the streets. You know what I'm saying? So a man wouldn't want his name to be out there like that. You know what I'm saying? But of course, how society got the people. Yeah. That's crazy because you know they 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 listen to young boy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and everything he rap about, he angry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's the type of energy they get. They listen to the music, right? Your uh, uh, your body move to the music and take on mm -hmm. the food that you eat. You yep. know what I'm saying? You out here eating this mad cow, and then you <laughs> listen to this mad music. <laughs> so, you you know, man. Man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now I feel like this. You you know right. what I'm saying? So, and then the internet, you know, that's, you know, I gotta, I gotta keep this image, like, I don't want nobody to see that I'm weak or I'm soft or anything. But at the same time, that ain't weak at all. But society and, and the internet, that, that, oh, yeah. that beauty, yeah. but I feel like as women, because we gotta take accountability too, we gotta create a space for men to be able to okay. be vulnerable like that, and it be okay, and it's not like, I want to see if she's going to go back and say this. We got to kind of make them feel protected. Y'all make it easy now. <laughs> Y'all make it easy now. You know, because men, because we, we, we long for our men and we can be vulnerable with yeah. them. So, and I feel like men should be able to be that way with us. And sometimes right. I feel like men, can't, they, they can't trust themselves to do that. Or they can't trust us mm -hmm. to, to do that. It's like, uh, like you said, I don't want my man. You know, out there bad or this is that. But at some point it's gonna happen because you're gonna keep it all bottled up and you just gonna explode. But then it'll be is an explode the same thing as being like vulnerable? Because it's time you can just knock shit over and then you mad. Or it could be, I right, I'm just gonna go on cry it out, bad, I need a hug or this. Some people do that, but some people if you don't, if you keep all the emotions in and you bottle all that up eventually, it's gonna come out you are yeah. 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 Now I'm gonna say I'm gonna answer the question you were talking about. What's the definition of masculinity? I would say not necessarily the definition, but I feel like as a man, you should be able to know when to not necessarily hold back your feelings, like not be so aggressive and so yeah. angry, and not and know when to be like I'm still a man and I can cheat, yeah. and I can still back. Be, be mad enough to know, like, okay, if we in a situation, I'm going to be mad enough to step back so I won't put me and my family yeah. in this type of situation or this is that. I just feel like you have to be intact with your emotions. Mm -hmm. Some men, they don't really cry. Some men are not emotional. And some are, but I feel like once you get a grasp of that and kind of know how to channel it where it needs to be channeled, I feel like you, you masculine enough. You just have to be one with yourself. And That's yeah, my yeah, go back with discipline. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, know, you, yep. discipline, yep. you know what I'm saying? So, you know, society do got it fucked up on that. Yeah, you know cause they got to work out, okay? Yeah. And y'all cry, y'all yeah, 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 Like, yeah. for real, cause I was watching, oh, but now, there. But now, but now, you got, you got guys that are, uh, have time to, to, Go live and share the tear. No, I'm not okay. Like, okay. like, like, okay. like, 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 we don't, he ain't not talking to nobody. The people on the line. Oh, uh, laughing at them. <laughs> they doing it. Laughing at them. They definitely doing it. Laughing at them. Just, just going, you know, 
what, what, what Trey did when he got mad and started playing. Mm -hmm. Trey went in the house and he started punching the air. Yeah. He, right. in the head. he cried. Everybody don't want to punch the air. Some people just want to fly out and cry. But then, too, speaking of society again, it's like social media, the first place people run to with anything. They do. They with, do. Like, with anything. Crying, somebody passed away, something happened outside. Uh, anything they gonna either pick up their phone and video, or they yep. gonna pick up their phone and go live and like turn their face to it and have themselves. Yeah, it's all. It's like we kind of. I, I don't know if I'm using the right word, but like be sensitized. Like yeah. we, we have no type of. Like I said, like how people they'll see something going on and they'll record it and then he'll play. But but you can get paid for this. You can and get, they get. They doing this shit free. But we. They ain't doing it for free. You can get paid for them footages, man. But when do when do we stop thinking about the dollar and let's help yeah. somebody? When when is it like now nah, fuck this phone? Somebody, yeah. you know what I'm somebody saying? I gotta reach out and get somebody. Cause yeah. social media just got it like that. I'm gonna record this, but I'm gonna help at the same time. Or if I'm, you know, giving back, I wanna show the world that I gave back, like like it, it got to be some in between it because we got so wrapped up in it. Like it, it seems like nothing is sincere. Like how you said, when the person get on live and they cry, it comes off his face. Then now we can't really tell what's sincere and what it is. Like okay, this man out here putting on a show, he just want to be seen. That's it. Yeah, it's like society. It, it has done that where you you're not really allowed to have emotions. Like you you just supposed to like to keep up this image. I'm like this here, you know, I'm this or I'm that, you know, but I feel like men should be able to express themselves. I feel like that would cut down on, not necessarily a lot, but it'll just yeah. make life a little easier it's, for it's them. Just, yeah, we, we just got to get in that position where we comfortable, you know what I'm saying, to yeah. express them. All right, business owners and entrepreneurs, if you are needing a setup spot to sell your businesses or showcase your business or service, look no further than 247 Kitchen located in the Kroger Plaza in Byron, Mississippi. They have a small business spot like Saturdays where you can come bring your own setup and set up in front of the restaurant to sell your products or services. If you need further information, please um, email or call them. The numbers are on the flyer or reach out to them on their social medias. It is 247 Kitchen on all social media platforms. That's the number two, the word for F-O-R and the number seven, Kitchen. By me being a single man, it's just, it's just hard because I can't just express my feelings to anyone. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just got to find my, myself and state of meditation, you know what I'm saying, and breathe, and just focus on my breathing for at least about 30 minutes, and just clear my mind, so what don't kill me, you know what I'm saying, won't break me, okay. so I, I take it on. So, so what about, oh, oh, my bad, so what about therapy, how you feel about it? <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, everybody get a little therapy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you go up this shit at the house, you call your home girl, you know, she tells you. But them ain't the right there. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, 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 you know, everybody get it. You know, the woman that's sitting in that chair that you're paying to go see, something is wrong with her. You know True, because therapy needs therapy too. She yeah. needs it too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, everybody need they, somebody to listen to them. You can either get someone genuine. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that, that, that you can feel the energy, that they care about you, or you can go pay somebody. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you, you can just pay somebody. You can pay somebody so to that's, care that's what somebody. the therapy is. You know, I, I think it's great. You know what I'm saying? And it and it may play a big part in, in changing a bunch of situations and helping a bunch of people out in life. You know what I'm saying? By movement, strategic, or thinking out something. So you know, it play a big part. No, I was just gonna kind of tap into that, like how he was saying, like meditation and breathing and stuff like that. We, it's like it's just needed. It, it's needed in our community, you know, because a lot of people walk around with so much bottled up and they don't know, like, okay, I just need to breathe. I need to meditate, or I do need to talk to somebody, whether it be professional. I go and go see a therapist, or if it's 
somebody, you know, my homegirl or my this or my that. It's just like our whole lifestyle. We, it, at some point, it has to be like a three sixty. You know, when it comes down to even like with the with the eating, what you eat and what you consume and you put in your body, I know that plays a big part on your mind as well. You know, yeah. your health. So like. Yeah, I was just gonna take it to like how you were saying with therapy and stuff like that and just breathing and you know, we need that and we need to teach our kids that. That's what I was gonna say. Because I feel like because a lot of things aren't taught when the children aren't younger, we become adults, we become these angry adults. Yeah. We become these unhealthy adults. We just emotionally just stopped up. We, and that's we, what our kids pick up about though. That's yep. how they surround them. Yeah, yeah. And it's like as a parent, if you're not shifting, your child gonna go right along like how with us. We we grew up off of what our people taught us. It took us to become adults and then say, okay, I yeah, want to do something yeah, different. Yeah. I ain't knocking what mom and them did because yeah, truth yeah, be yeah, told, yeah. mom and them just did what they what they thought was right. 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 You know? And it, what they had to do. It's the, exactly. Yeah, the but then as a new generation coming up, we have to decide like, okay, mama, I appreciate that, but I'm going to take the tip around. I want to yeah. do something different. Really yeah. said it. <laughs> It, it has changed drastically. Some men feel like they can't open up for fear of what society will say. But later, I want you to talk to me. I'm open ears and an open heart, and we can drink this liquor. It's a deliver. <laughs> See, that liquor gets you open. Really trying to give them this feeling, baby. Take another shot. You want some more Hennessy? Cry on, mama, baby. Cry on. And then four, four shots later, Brittany in him going to be like, fuck that shit. Right. <laughs> For real. <laughs> but ain't nothing wrong with that. It's really the kind of found her like she like hey. Yeah. Right. That, that's a whole other thing. Yeah. It ain't nothing wrong with that. We all we have to we have to figure out figure out what we're work. You yeah. know the best yeah. for us. But bring a shout out to you for even creating that, that space for your man to be like, I right. another question. Do you feel like parent like or you said the same parent home? So do you feel like it plays a part as far as we women raising men? Like feeling like yes, men, yes, men don't yes, the boys don't have that. Yes. And if they do go out in the streets and try to find it, yes. is it the responsibility for the quote unquote OGs to kind of redirect, you know, instead of they've been in the streets, so they know the outcome of it. So why not instead of embracing them and pushing, you know, the younger generation to go do that same thing and mess up? Why not try to redirect them and turn them into another direction? Well, it, it, it be some of the causes that some of them single parent homes, uh, some of the kids, they ain't had no father in it. They, they go listen to somebody younger than them. You know what I'm saying? They follow the footsteps in somebody that younger than them. And who they think OG is not taking the right path. So mm -hmm. they can't teach them the right shit. And some of the OGs that really out here, Hey, they didn't. They didn't pretty much do it in the towel on some of the young people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they didn't pretty much gave it up because the young young girls nowadays they 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 they, they so masculine. <laughs> I, I can't pronounce that you word. Know right? You know what I'm saying? They so masculine. They 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 so eager to push that and show their strength and mm. their courage. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't want to feel weak. So that's why they end up taking that other route. And that's why the OGs don't want nothing to do with it. Because we see you running behind him. We'll put a word or two out there. And it's on them to follow that shit. Mm -hmm. They got to want to do better for themselves. True. You know what I'm saying? Because you watching this, you see the same thing on TV and the internet that I see. This, somebody got shot here. Somebody ended up dead mm -hmm. here. Somebody got robbed here. You know what I'm saying? So you seeing the same thing, but you gotta want to want different for yourself. Yes. I'm not gonna go sideways to try to save somebody that's not trying to save itself. It makes you gotta start with that person first. Yeah. Yeah. They gotta want to give us what they You letting it come in. It really come in. I know this be wild sometimes. Like, Tim said, hell yeah. I think he's talking about the uh, topic. Yeah. Uh, Bridget said, you can't spend a night. <laughs> Drink this water so open, and you gotta go bike home. But oh, see, now Bridget, now you, you really need it. Now you got this man. Oh, that's why he ain't gonna open up. That's why. That's why he ain't gonna open up. Someone said, this sage that you are holding. Yes, ma'am. Yes, 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 yes,
Let me ask you this. You said being a single man, right? So do you feel like different people hold different roles and they like, like you might have somebody that you can talk to this about, but you know you can't, you know what I'm saying? Of course, so, of you know. course, of course, of course. You have those certain people that you have that certain bond with mm -hmm. that you can talk about certain stuff, even though it don't go farther than what y'all got going on, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you, you can express yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like I got a homegirl that work at the hospital and, you know, at, at the end of our work night, she may call me and uh, uh, she'll come over there to the house. We'll sit down, we'll have a cup of wine, and we'll just been talking about, talking about our day and what's been going on and how people act about certain shit and how they don't care. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just as well as we talking yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we just, we, we'll do that. And she'll, she'll tell me how she feel about certain shit. And I'll tell her how I feel about certain shit and certain females and this and that. And mm -hmm. that's, I'm expressing. Like, that's yeah. the only person I can open up to. I, you know, I don't. Do you feel like it's important for people to have opposite sex friends outside of their relationship? Like, do you think sometimes them lines can get tested or do you feel yeah, like that's yeah, kind of yeah, important? Some, some, it got to be a, a good communication level, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, and understanding that. Because some shit can get rocky. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I say, some drinks and wine yeah, and all that. Yeah, they yeah, 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 talking yeah. and hanging out. Yeah. And now you feeling real comfortable with this person. Mm -hmm. But this person think it's just only a friendship. Right. And it's like, mm -hmm. you know, somebody can get confused in that. Sure. So we got to stay on the same page. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think it, it, it's possible. You know what I'm saying? It's a good thing. Yeah. I have no problem with it. But as long as it's just understanding and communication. Because... Your spouse ain't going to think the same about yeah. it. Like, mm -hmm. how much time did you spend? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What, is, what is really going on? Yeah. Yeah. You go on more days to spend time. Right. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You over there again? Yeah. Yeah. You calling you again? Right. Yeah. 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 But now, what you were saying about having your homegirl to talk to, mm -hmm. I feel like that is a good thing. Whether or not you're single or in a relationship, but we going to, like, since you're single. I feel like that's a good thing because I do feel like that in a sense helps when you do get in a serious relationship, being able to talk to somebody or the opposite sex. And y'all talk about what y'all do when y'all don't yeah, like yeah, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, the pros and cons because they, she give me insight on how y'all be thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be thinking but but we need but that. Some, yeah. But that may be a gift and a curse to me. Why? Because, you know, if I talk to somebody and I see certain acts in certain ways, and I'm like, damn, my own is going to She said it. She went out of there. She went She went out of there. Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you have to use your better judgment, yeah. right? Yeah. She yeah. Kind of, you know, yeah. put you up on game. Yeah. Yeah. This for you to, you know, yeah, I'm gonna shit through. I'm going to say that. You know, do you, you, you know, out. you got to do your yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like that is a good thing with being able to talk to someone yes. of the opposite yes. sex. Because I feel like we did that when we were younger. People would have better communication yeah. and better healthy relationships. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because we don't communicate. Nowadays, with society, everything is toxic. All we're going to do is hoop and holler, fight, make up, instead of just being like, hey, when you did that, you know I don't like it, right? Right. Yeah. You know, I, I, you know, this is what I like to do. This is, you know, we just get into things more so on a physical level. It's like, okay, well, if it feels good, we're going to do it. Then you get together, we be like, now what the hell? A bunch of times we just go with what we crave. You know what I'm yep. saying? Not with what we need. Right. You're right. You got a point there. Yeah, some of them crave to be toxic. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. we be toxic and don't realize that we got toxic ways and we yearn for this. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Jasmine said earlier, she said, I, I, I saw a comment, but I'm so sorry, Jasmine. I completely forgot to read that. She said she needs some business. Up. Yeah, up. we got this up, baby. She said she up, some baby. Up. 44, <laughs> nine, no state street, <laughs> And then she said, you got to want to help yourself. I can give you the path, but you got to put some work in. Yeah. This, this, that was her comment, which goes back to what we were talking about, the younger generation not, mm -hmm. you know, taking over with the OGs, you know, be trying to tell them and all that. Yeah. But, Oh, you put the oil Like they say, you can lead a horse to water, but you, you can't, can't make them drink. True, but... That was it. Yeah. <laughs> she, she, she don't do that. She don't always go <laughs> out the ground. She got to go total opposite every time. Yeah. Come on, Devil's Advocate. Come on, Devil's Advocate. We'll get you some water.
too much horn. <laughs> <laughs> but like it, it's like okay. Me personally, I feel like is there a is there a demise to you trying so much that you eventually want to quit trying? It's, it's not a motor running where you want to get keep. If you don't get to but to one person. You done done your due diligence, and if you got to that one person, you feel like, all right, I got them. I know I can. You know what I'm saying? Nah, see, see, that's just like, uh, just like delivering the message. The work is never done. The work is never going to be done. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody ain't going to be going to want to go. Okay, so, well, that's true. So that don't mean you, you, you stop working. You stop spreading the work. You start trying to inspire or give people insight mm -hmm. on which, which way to move and which way not. That, that, that don't stop it. If it's in you and it's a way of living, mm -hmm. it's gonna come out naturally. It's gonna show that light will shine. Like no matter who you run into, you know, mm -hmm. how many motherfuckers you run into, yeah. it's gonna come out. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And that's what you're doing, like with, with yeah, you. Ooh, yeah. Like you, 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 you spread that light. Like you be all come and join us, or you yeah. can stay on the outside. And you know, but again. eventually they're gonna. I feel like eventually people gonna stay on the outside for so long they gonna test. Yeah, yeah. Some people, yeah, you know you gotta test the walls, you know how you yeah, kids, yeah, you know yeah, some hot. Yeah, you gotta it's, test. It's, it's, it's levels to it, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Gotta, you gonna test it. Go but this, they go back to building the script and the carriage, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's that man, what? That it's masculinity. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's that masculinity <laughs> that some people don't have, and it be up in females and Men's too. You, you feel like us like like women be men feel like us women be too. You feel like we come off a little too hard. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I love. I was going to say earlier. Ooh, 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 right. I was still trying to hold it. I love it. Once I love it, because because now the ladies are so independent, like, mm -hmm. and and that's a beautiful thing, but. Yeah, let the way y'all let it be known. Y'all balling, man. See, that's why the guys got to do what they got to do because y'all doing too much on them. I'm like, oh, no, nah, ain't no way Charlie just right. came in. Ain't no way, man. So that's why that's why the fellas so hard because y'all ladies, y'all so strong, you know what I'm saying? And shots out to you, you know what I'm saying? To, but do you feel like you got you? The way you got to trust me. The way you got to Like, if you no. looking at society, do you, like, no, do you no, blame? Because that's, that's the queen. You know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. you you taking on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, you you doing what you're supposed to do. Ain't yeah. nothing stopping. <laughs> ain't nothing stopping. You can have 30 niggas on the side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Having them moving at different accords. You know, <laughs> doing what you want to do. That's the queen. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. You, know, you ain't got to be laying with them. Uh -huh. They're just doing certain shit, but right. you just controlling, you showing, you showing that you the dominant one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But some men afraid of it. Yeah, some men yeah. don't like it. That's that's history. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some men that's don't. History. Yeah, some men they, 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 they can't handle it. You don't understand history. Okay, yeah. but I do feel like I'm gonna be the devil's advocate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nah, man. Home, you know, not you being the devil's advocate. We did it on the and we did it with Brittany. Yeah. Oh, just because it's calm. All right, Jackson, Mississippi, and surrounding areas. Listen, if you're wanting some good stuff, turkey legs, or a good stuff pineapple, look no further than Soul Miami Catering, okay? That's S-O-L, Soul Miami Catering. Contact Chef Lee at 786-481-7777. To order your takeout or to get some food catered to you. Listen, if y'all go follow them on their Instagram page and see these pictures, honey, the turkey leg is all I'm going to say. Again, that's Soul Miami Catering. S-O-L Miami Catering. Go check them out. Yeah, that was a slow up on the night. See, it's calm down because sometimes we can go so hard and be a turn off. Like, yeah. even as a woman, sometimes you see other women yeah. just doing it, be like, see, that ain't cute. Man. You need to. <laughs> I damn it. Because sometimes we can't come off as too hard. And I say we could be yeah. included. Yeah. You know, because of society, we have. It's more like we've been made to be independent. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like you have no choice but to 
Get out there and grind. Take care of your kids. Take the trash out. Cut the yard. I ain't cutting no yard. But, <laughs> you know, just generally speaking, like, you have to just really own your shit and make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that was our slogan, like, hey, sis, calm. Okay. Right. Because well, sometimes we, we, hear you now. we, we don't hear give you. a man a chance to be a man. Yeah. We be hollering, oh, we want a man, we want a man. But sometimes we go so hard to be like, damn, girl, calm down. You ain't even that long. Give us a chance. Look at we and I say we because we sis, we gotta go now, okay? We gotta break it down a few notches. And I will say the men need to still up some energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say that yeah, yeah, you because hold all, all of us yeah. accountable. accountable because yeah. we, we get so quick to be like, the man is the man is the man right, is. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you know, we got our faults too. Yeah. Women. You know what I'm saying? I feel like once we realize our faults, then we can work together better. Once we both realize, like, okay, right. this not fuck up, this your fuck up. But hey, yeah. we gonna fix this shit. We yeah. just gonna stay tight. <laughs> we gonna make it work. <laughs> Brittany says, sis, sis, calm down. I'm calm a little bit though. No, you ain't Brittany. Brittany, you just said the man can't spend the night. You got a drink on and so on. No, you ain't gonna play. Brittany does yeah. not play. No. Yes. 
Yes. So yes. That, that that's a lifestyle that you choose or you you kind of lean yes. towards. Yes. yes. I think I think it'll work perfect. <laughs> he worked, he said for him. And that's him. Thing. You okay. have to know what works best for you. Right. But you saying that, would you mind if, if you are in a relationship with a woman and she's polygamous as well? Like she has someone outside of you. Is she allowed to have somebody else? That you not tied into. Like you not tied into it. <laughs> it's just her. Oh, it's so you can't you got them nah. the person on your own. <laughs> Like if, if if she doing that, then she go that way. You know what I mean? <laughs> Wait a minute, now. Wait a minute now. Oh, that oh, person, no. oh, you trouble oh, love, oh, you see, you, you, <laughs> you talking about that fight earlier? Yeah. You're gonna be the fight right here. See the trick. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So wait, okay, you saying polygamy like right? they know about each other, right? You, you asking her, you asking me to be her for her be okay to leave my house. And go with this. Go with it's okay for you to do it. Right. We in the house. This ain't Okay, well, let, let, let her bring it on me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. Wait. No. But see, that, see, that's not What the song say? Way. A man can dish it, but he show it. Child can't take it. Look, no, that ain't how that works. You can't do that. No. I, I understand that, but that's why I got to find that one. Please <laughs> find them two. Just the foundation, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to build, I know just one female ain't gonna be able to take on this shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just mm -hmm. bigger. Like, I wanna run a garden, I wanna, I wanna this big, I want mm -hmm. acres, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We gotta build our own family, we gotta make this bloodline strong, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Cause, cause that's what's wrong with people now, cause the bloodline they got wiped out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You did mixed and matched this and this. <laughs> and all that. You yeah, gotta okay. get that bloodline back strong, mm -hmm. and that's why you got some, some, some guys out here that is too, too feminine, and you got some is too masculine. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. so it just, it's just all confused right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody's just all over the place. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta get some structure back, and the only way you get structure back is in your own community, you know? Okay, but <laughs> so you say she can't have another man, but what if she want another woman outside of what you got going on? Of course he cool with it. Yeah. yeah. See, that's so backward. Of course he cool with it. That's backward. Of course he cool with it. Because he has to worry about another man getting his money. That's all that is. He trying to keep all of that to himself. Oh, that is backward. Exactly. Look, I'm, I'm just, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm just gonna be the slave for the women. That's all I'm doing. I'm, just, okay. I'm working hard, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Feeding the family, uh -huh. they cropping, they cooking, doing they fine. <laughs> he got you know all he got to figure out. He got the blueprint already in his head. Asia said, and she four feet tall, talking about Brittany. Asia said, four feet tall, talking about Brittany. And she said, when she come through. Shut everything down, Gilbert. Uh, Tim said we ain't make the rules. We ain't <laughs> make <laughs> them, Tim. Really, <laughs> Tim. Uh, and she said, "Tell them like that sage up and wave it." Lord, bless it, right? <laughs> 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 In all honesty, we can't do nothing but respect it. Right, because they don't get Yeah, yeah. Because most men just want women and they ain't gonna say that they gonna play with your emotions. Yeah, they gonna go And you see, like, like, hey, baby, it's gonna be a come on deal around here. Yeah. You gotta be lit. I, I just ain't found that one that gonna put me in the head lock and be like, all right, I'm behind you, do this, do this. Yeah. And you need something, I got you. you so you feel like you need two for this? Or, or are oh, you even looking for to find that one? Two. I'm looking to find that one. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm, 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 I'm up for the finding that one. You know okay, you said that one. Look, one. we need to host a little big and love dating show. We're going to hook him up. Look, we've been saying we want to do a speed dating show. We're going to go on and make him a star show. I didn't put two O's in there. I didn't put two O's in there. Yeah. Uh, like that. It's natural. Tim said, I can't handle more than one wife. Look. <laughs> Cause I'm sure just one is a headache. See, could you have more than one husband? Man, listen, no. 